Hello there, Rabbi. Morning, Joe. I see that you are at a lake. Looks like a good place for a baptizing ceremony. Um, on that note, the news has recently held that certain members of Congress, specifically the uh, speaker, should not receive certain sacraments, communion among them, because of their political policies on other issues. And the Pope has spoken out about this, but American bishops are going against the Pope, which in my youth was an unheard of notion. Uh, that seems silly, don't you think? Well, I think that's an embarrassment to all religions. And it's also particularly an embarrassment to the Roman Catholic Church that my understanding is that the Eucharist is a sacrament open to anyone, any Roman Catholic, who wants to partake of the sacrament, and it's not to be used as a tool, as a weapon. Look, if we go back to the Middle Ages, Joe, we see what happens when the church uses the any of the sacraments, or the church takes stands in politics. It always has a bad outcome. I don't think you can wag your finger at the church too much, because it was always, I mean, there's no test. It's not like you can, like you're donating blood where you can get a, a finger prick and then find out, oh, this guy hasn't got any sin on him, so he can go ahead and have communion. Otherwise, there'd be two lines in the church instead of one on Sunday. <laughs> but it was always an individual determination, and you were always told you must be in a state of grace in order to receive communion. We think if we perform all the steps, if we do all the rites, we're going to be okay with God. Yeah, and, and I've talked about that before, Joe. In Judaism, we have the Haredi and the ultra Orthodox that are obsessed with performing the ritual in their way, not somebody else's. And the groups themselves are fighting with each other that it has to be done. And then it becomes magic and superstition. And as human beings, we kind of like the magic superstitious solution to our problems rather than the ritual is to get us to take a look at our actions and then to change the way we do things. And a lot of times we just don't do the B part. We much prefer the simple. Look at TV advertising. Advertising is entirely based on quick, easy solutions when most of the time it requires a change in diet, a change in exercise, a change in lifestyle, it requires more than the pill, the, the dress, the tie, the deodorant, whatever they may be promoting, and we continue to fall for it. And as human beings, we have to stop and say, wait a minute, it's not like that. But why does it, why does it persist? I mean, theoretically, people are much smarter than that. If I tried to sell everybody a can of magic beans that would take them to a land in the clouds where there's a goose that lays golden eggs, they'd lock me up. But if I say, okay, here's a cracker. If you eat it after fasting for 12 hours, you go to heaven. There are people who would say that's, oh, okay, let me try that. Well, I disagree with you about the can of beans. If you could get a football player to promote it, it would sell like hotcakes. The church represents God's teachings on earth. And that's why what the bishop does is so upsetting because he represents God on earth. And here he's using a sacrament of the church as a tool for his personal beliefs. And I think he's stepped outside his bounds. And I think he's violating his, the trust people have. And even the Holy Father in Rome said anyone should receive communion. We shouldn't restrict it. So here you have a bishop not listening to the Pope. And I think that's very sad, Joe. So do you... The old wisdom of the 60s is, is proven true again. Think for yourself and question authority. Well, thank you very much, Rabbi. As always, your wisdom is unquestionable. Absolutely. And I expect you to listen to me and never question what I tell you, Joe.